today's fountain pen unboxing will be the Paniter Psycho fountain pen we just got in stock. You have the green cardboard outer box. It's really nice packaging. That Paniter tissue paper even, have, even has the logo on it. You've got that shape that Paniter loves in the gift box with the fold down front. Um, and a lot of cushioning provided with the Paniter logo all throughout. You've got your pen filler included along with the snorkel and an eyedropper and everything you need for your Paniter Psycho fountain pen experience to be top notch. Um, this is a quick look before we go through the rest of the packaging in the box here. But this is your Paniter Psycho fountain pen in palladium. Um, so it is palladium cap and barrel with the black trim. Um, the box is pretty awesome with the removable insert magnetic downfold to get the um, information out. This is your information about the pen filler. You also have information about the um, Psycho fountain pen. You also have information about the general use of your Paniter pens and the history of the company. And they include a set of stationery, which is great since that was their original product offering. Okay, now let's dive into the Paniter Psycho fountain pen. As I said, it, this is the palladium with black trim. It also comes in rose gold and yellow gold. Um, the trim material is evident in the crown of the cap, the back of the back end of the barrel, and your clip. And you do have yet yeah, that familiar Paniter quill clip. And this material is very interesting. You might not be able to tell at first, but it is like a mesh material. I'll get you a better look here later in the video. Um, the clip is your familiar, um, very springy clip. Um, and I love that the Paniter name is still in, in the crown of the cap like it often is. And uh, just the look of this finished um, pin with this using this material is fantastic. It's got the magnetic cap that people love. Um, some people love it, some people don't enjoy it, but I'm a fan. Um, this is a cartridge converter pin, so um, you can access the converter by taking the barrel off. And it does have the ink level right there on the converter, which is interesting and cool. Um, and here's a better look at that material. Now that we've got the pin taken apart, you can see why this is described as a mesh material. You got your 14 karat gold nib, which is appropriate since this collection is focused on elements of jewelry design. So you've got a combination of semi-precious metals, high thickness plating, lost wax castings, with that 14 karat gold nib, the luxury packaging, and each of these pins is limited edition and is handmade. So it's unique and it's very highly detailed. If you want more information, visit pinchalay.com.